Hey guys, welcome back to The Nut House. Your boy Shane here. Today we're gonna do a quick review on a ProFusion garage heater. Let's get started. All right guys, so here we go. We have got the ProFusion heater. We bought this from Northern Tool. It's actually a pretty nice heater. It is the small one. It is the 3,000 to 5,000 watt unit. Um, it does take a, a 30 amp fuse. However, reading the directions, I have noticed that if you run it on the 3,000 watt setting, it only pulls a 17 amps. And if you run it on the 5,000 watt uh, setting, that it runs 20.9 amps. So there's not like a 25 amp breaker. I mean, I guess you could run that. It does recommend a 30 amp plug. Um, seeing that this garage is roughly in the neighborhood of about 400 square feet so it's it's a pretty small garage yes it's it's an old house so yeah you're gonna see some some stuff here and there but um, but yeah just for what I use it for in the 3000 watt um, mode then basically what I end up doing is that I can actually heat up this garage pretty well you know if I let it run for um, a few hours before I come out here then um, yeah I mean I can I can warm it up pretty good yes it's a complete mess but you know most people's garages are uh, it's a garage that is in a house that is well lived in with a couple of kids and we have completely outgrown our what space. What you can see is that this unit right here um, is actually has a plug it does recommend that you do run it um, as a hard wire however you know again you guys I'm not an electrician please run at your own risk I have it set up this way because I have my air conditioner set up on that as well so what I can end up doing is in the summertime I just unplug that I plug my window unit in boom then I have air inside the garage as well so on days here in Texas you know when it's 105 degrees outside and feels like hundred percent humidity you at least somewhat in the garage it's somewhat comfortable for me to be able to get in here and and do some work, either a powder coating or a coating some guns, maybe even doing some woodwork, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever I'm in here doing, um, obviously having fun, of course, that's what this is all about, it's just to have fun. So I just wanted to kind of give a quick review about it. It is a great unit. We picked it up from Northern Tool. Um, I think regular retail on that's about $150. I picked it up on sale, it was $89, $90, somewhere right around in there. They were running a great promotion. Um, no, not affiliated with Northern Tool or anything like that. It just happened to be on sale when I got their ad in the mail. I went ahead and grabbed it so I could get me one of those units. It's been a great unit. Um, yeah, it's, it's just fantastic. It's been able to keep me nice and toasty in here. Um, I've got a backpacking trip coming up this weekend. So I cleaned uh, my bag and I had it set up in here and hanging in here. And of course it was dripping wet so i turned the heater on let it run for a little bit and it did kind of help you know dry that thing out instead of it sitting in here and here in the cold temperature not that it's super cold in texas it feels fantastic outside but um you know when it's cool outside things tend to take a little longer to dry out so um if i haven't said it like and subscribe down here at the bottom hit the little bell so you get notification when and if we get another uh video posted uh like I said, I will be backpacking this weekend. I do plan on taking some of the gear, uh, just doing some shots of us kind of hanging out, me and a couple of my buddies, uh, just kind of hanging out in Arkansas uh, and just having a good time. So again, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or recommendations, please put them in the bottom in the notes and I will try to get to them as I can. Um, other than that, y'all have a great evening. One thing I forgot to say about the unit itself, um, their little red light that you see or the orange light that you see on does just mean that their power is on doesn't mean that the unit is running it just means that it has power itself to the unit a cool feature about this unit is the fact that when you turn it on the fan doesn't automatically come on it allows that uh, heating unit or the element to actually start to uh, produce heat once it starts to produce some heat then the fan comes on and starts to blow across the coils themselves to uh, produce the heater or, or output the heat into the garage or your workspace. Um, another cool thing is, is when you shut the unit off, not when you turn the power off, just when you turn the unit itself off. Um, the cool thing is, is what happens is, is that 
it will continue to blow as far as the fan. The fan continues to blow across those coils uh, to help cool it down and to continue to blow out whatever heat is still in there. According to the owner's manual and everything that I've read, what it does it actually helps extend the life of the unit itself. So, so far so good. Thanks guys. <music>